Have you ever looked at your receipt after going grocery shopping or looked back at your grocery expenses for the month and thought, man, I do not think I used to spend this much. Well, if you thought that, you're not alone and you're not wrong. Today, we're gonna look at what I spent on groceries in a week back in 2019, and then what those same groceries cost today in 2024. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again here on my channel. I'm Rebecca, and if you're new here, I run the blog, The Tex-Mex Mom, and here on YouTube, I like to talk about saving money on groceries and frugal meal plans and yummy recipes that you can make for your family. So today we're doing something different, or kind of different. It's a grocery haul, but the groceries that I bought are from a list that I shared on my blog back in 2019. Now, one of the things that I like to share on my blog is meal plans. And so I'll share um, dinners. This particular meal plan actually was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, like for a week or for two weeks and I will show the recipes and then I will include the grocery list. So back in July of 2019, I shared a meal plan and a grocery list that came to $50.66 at Aldi for all the ingredients. So I thought it would be fun to see what all those ingredients cost now in 2024 at the same place. So I wanted to go back to Aldi, buy all the identical things and see. I have a whole list. I printed off of my grocery list from back in 2019 of everything I bought. I bought apples, bananas, blueberries, broccoli, romaine lettuce, cucumber, grape tomatoes, uh, two gallons of milk, two dozen eggs, feta cheese, some cheddar cheese, 16 ounces of that, five pounds of chicken breasts, three pounds of ground beef, applesauce, bread, hamburger buns, tortillas, tortilla chips, pasta, two boxes of cereal, a box of fruit bars, a box of crackers, three pounds of rice, and a can of black beans. So for all of that back in 2019, I paid $50.66 at Aldi. Now, obviously even back in 2019, all of those ingredients would have been more expensive if you were going to a fancier grocery store. So this was still a real, this was a great price um, for all of these things back in 2019. So today I'm gonna be going back, or today, I, earlier today, I went back to Aldi. I wanted to go to the same store, get all the same things if possible, so that we could really do a true comparison of how prices have changed. So if I look a little tired, it's because it's almost 10 o'clock at night here, but the house is very quiet and it just seemed like a good time to get this video done. So I, I was getting everything set up for the video and then I realized that my dishwasher was running and the dryer was running so I stopped both of those and so hopefully, I think my fridge is going but hopefully it's it's pretty quiet and um, hopefully a kid doesn't wander out. Everyone's asleep right now so I think we're safe to do a video. <laughs> so let's take a look at all the groceries I got. I'm gonna flip the camera around, I'm gonna show you all the groceries and we will talk through the prices, what I paid in 2019 and what I paid today. And um, see if you can guess how much more it's gonna be. It was $50.66. How much do you think I paid for all of those groceries in 2024? Well, let's flip the camera, camera around and I will show you. Okay, are you guys ready? We are going to take a look at all of these groceries and talk about how much I got them all for back in 2019 and then now in 2024. So let's start over here with our fruit. I have my piece of paper in my hand here with all my prices, so I'm gonna tell you all about them. Okay, so starting off with the apples. Now, I was surprised about this. I got this bag, three pound bag of apples, and back in 2019, I paid 3.89. Today, I only paid 2.89. Um, now that is a really good price. So um, yeah, Aldi clearly had a sale going on for apples right now. So I was pretty happy about that. I actually paid a dollar less for apples. Now don't get used to that. A lot of these things are going to be more expensive, but the apples, they were a pleasant surprise. Okay, the um, a bunch of bananas, they were 92 cents before and now they were $1.57. Um, now in 2019, I got some blueberries, but it was July, which is when blueberries are more on, on sale normally. So I went ahead and got strawberries this time. I figured it'd be pretty similar. So I paid $1.19 for blueberries in 2019 and these were $2.69, so not bad. Then a cucumber, okay. Cucumber was 49 cents back in 2019. Now it was 65 cents. Not a huge difference, but um, definitely still a difference. 
the grape tomatoes. They were $1.69 and now they were $2.29. And $2.29 I feel like is a, now is a pretty decent price. I know that they are more at other places. So Aldi still does have the best price on those. Now um, I stuck a little post-it over here to make sure I told you about lettuce. Um, I did not need any this time, so I didn't want to buy it just to show you. So that's the current price, $2.89, and that would be for like the romaine hearts. And that was $1.99. So leapt up almost a dollar there. And then broccoli, let's see, uh, broccoli was $1.79 back in 2019. And now the broccoli is $2.70. These are pretty nice big ones. I don't know exactly how much I got. Um, I think I just got a package similar to this. So that, as far as I can tell, that's very similar to what I got. Okay, eggs. <laughs> I was shocked when I saw the price from 2019. I got two dozen eggs in 2019 for $1.36. Like $1.36 total for two dozen eggs. So sadly, definitely not the prices anymore. So this was $4.10. So I jumped up from $1.36 to $4.10 for both of those. And as you know, that's still a lot. That's like a good price compared to what it was. What what was it like a year ago when they like skyrocketed? But anyways, still, yeah, definitely a lot more than 2019, sadly. Um, one happy thing, uh, this feta cheese, this was actually less. This is my other item that was less. Feta cheese, I had paid $2.19 and I paid $1.89. So that was surprising to me. And I think the ounces are the same. It looks like the same size container as far as I remember. Um, then the one thing that I did not set out here and I literally just realized it, I didn't set out my milk. So I got two, um, two gallons of milk and let's see, the milk was two eighty nine dollars back in 2019 and now it was five forty six. dollars So both milk and eggs, yeah, definitely went up. I feel like I basically I got, um, it's almost doubled, almost doubled. So that's too bad. But anyway, okay, moving on. Cheese. This was $249 and it was $369 now in 2024. So what? That went up just a little over a dollar, a dollar and twenty cents. Still $369 is a better price than Walmart. So Aldi definitely still has the, the best price there. Then chicken, as you can see here, this was $12.52. It was $249 a pound, and I got I tried to get as close as I could to five pounds. Um, back in 2019, I got it for $8.95. So a pretty big difference there. This still is a good price per pound for now, except when I can get it on sale at Aldi. And they had it for $1.77 a pound, what, last month, I think? So that was amazing. Um, but yeah, so it went from eight something to 12 something. Then here is ground beef. Um, usually I get it on sale at, um, what am I saying, at Kroger. Uh, and I can get it a little bit better price and better. Like this is pretty bad, 73.27. I usually at least get the 80.20. But anyways, um, I wanted to get the three pounds so I could get exactly what I got in 2019. So for the ground beef, it was 5.97 in 2019 and now it was 10.49. So like doubled in price for the ground beef. Okay, applesauce. Here we go, this was 3.09 I think now. Yeah, it was 3.09 and it used to be $1.95. So yeah, got to jump there on the applesauce too. Bread, oh, we're gonna jump all the way over here to bread. I got it out of order. Um, I remember when I thought I was spending a lot on this whole wheat bread because I was paying more than a dollar <laughs> because they're cheaper, like their white bread and stuff was less than a dollar. But now this bread is 185 and let's see, it was, it was 109 before. So there you go for the bread. Hamburger buns, they used to be 89 cents and I got them for $1.29. So not a huge jump on them. $1.29 is really good, honestly, for now. I feel like they're generally gonna be a good bit more at most other places. Um, tortillas, they used to be 89 cents, and uh, now they are $1.95. So that was quite the jump. And then where'd my, oh, tortilla chips, same thing. They were 89 cents back in 2019, and now they are $1.95. So, um, yeah, I mean, both of those doubled, which is sad, especially because like a bag like this, you can go through super fast. Um, but it is what it is. Okay, where's my pasta? They've packaged their pasta differently now. It used to be in a box, but it's still the same, still 16 ounces. There were some that were 12 ounces for the same price. So you kind of got to look and see, but the Rotini, it was the 16 ounce 
And for the pasta, it, oh, this is one more that was a little bit less. It was 109 before, and this was only 98 cents. So um, that's interesting that that was a little less. That was nice. Then cereal, I just grabbed two of the basic boxes um, that we typically eat. This is probably similar to what I got last time. Um, last time it was $3.08 for two boxes. And now in 2024, it is $4.54. Then the crackers, they have definitely gone up. They were $1.25 before, they are now $2.49. So they have doubled, which I definitely have noticed that they've doubled. I believe these are $2.72 um, for similar ones at Walmart, just, you know, for the Walmart brand. So still a better price at Aldi, but they have definitely gone up. Um, did I say that I did not do the fruit bars yet? I don't even usually get these, but I wanted to get exactly what I got back in 2019. So here we go with our fruit bars. They were $1.35. They are now $2.25. Okay, we did crackers. Okay, then we're just going to come over to our rice and beans. So beans, a can of black beans used to be 49 cents, which <laughs> that was a great price. Now they are 81 cents. So yeah, they're still not a dollar, um, but that's still a pretty decent chain change in price especially if you're going to buy a lot of them and then the rice three pounds used to be a dollar 79 and now it is 265 okay i think i covered everything so there you have it a grand total for all of this um plus lettuce plus my milk that i forgot to show you um the grand total was 77 dollars and 68 cents okay so my total, like I said, was $77.68. So that makes a difference of $27.02, which you might think $27, that's not, you know, almost 30 bucks, that's not terrible. But if you think about it, I mean, I don't think most of us only spend $50 on groceries. So if you're spending $100 a week, or if you were spending $100 a week on groceries in 2019, that means now you'd be spending 154. Or if normally you were spending 200 on groceries, that means now you'd be spending 308 um, and that's a big difference and if that's weekly just think that is really adding up now i'm not saying this to like depress you just um maybe to give you a little validation if you're feeling like i used to do so well why am i spending so much more it's not your fault <laughs> it's just how the prices are but i don't want to end this video on a depressing note because the truth is even though prices have gone up a lot you can still find good prices. It just takes a little more searching. Instead of just getting those everyday low prices at Walmart, at Aldi, now I think a lot of times the best deal is to wait for those sale prices at a store like Kroger uh, because that's when you can really get low prices on things like meat, on things like cheese, um, really on a lot of these things, cereal, the crackers. Um, for example, let me look at my list here. Like the chicken breasts, they were two fifty dollars a pound at Aldi. A lot of times I'm seeing sales for $1.99, even $1.77 at Kroger. Also the crackers, I haven't been able to get them for $1.25 a box in a long time, like they were in 2019. But instead of getting them for $2.50 a box at Aldi, um, they will have sales for the Ritz, the good Ritz brand at Kroger for $1.99 a box. So I'm trying to stock up, I think you saw my last video, I tried to stock up on those. Um, what else? Oh, ground beef. I, a lot of times I will see that for like $2.99 a pound at Kroger, like pretty regularly at my Kroger, as opposed to this was $3.50 a pound at Aldi. Um, so it just takes a little more watching for those sales, um, clipping those digital coupons, and um, kind of stocking up so that you can pay the sale prices when they come around. Um, so you can still get good deals on groceries. Yeah, it's not gonna be exactly the same as it was in the good old days of 2019, but we can still save money and feed our families well for hopefully not too, too much if we are careful and watch the sales and all that good stuff. Okay guys, I think I'm going to go to bed because it's like 10 o'clock and I'm kind of losing my train of thought. <laughs> anyway, let me know in the comments, were you surprised by how much I ended up paying? Um, or did you feel like you would pay more where you are? Let me know um, and yeah, share your thoughts on how the prices have changed for you where you live. Okay guys, I will See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this kind of content and I will talk to you more soon. Bye. And if I can just say a PS to this video, sorry about kind of the random scene behind me here. <laughs>
<laughs> it's late. I set up my camera. I thought, oh, there's pretty flowers, and I wasn't really paying attention. So, but here you get a little peek into my kitchen and some of the random items that are laying out because this is very real life around here. 